Patreon member shout out. Pressure like a drip, 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 that'll never stop. Whoa. Pressure that'll tip, 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 till you just go pop. Whoa, oh, give it to your sister, your sister's older. Give her all the heavy things we cannot shoulder. Who am I if I can't run with the ball? If I fall to pressure like a grip, grip, grip. Hey guys, how's it going? It is I with the real Randy Chavez coming at you today with a VV Omi update video. You guys, if you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. I love you all. Everyone say, where's Dashi? Uh, it's a little crazy over there today with the sun, so I am here. Um, I have gotten a lot of messages with this, so I figured I'd just make a video. Um, most recently, there was somebody that had said, hey, Randy, the, you know, I love you and all the stuff with, with the videos, but they, they were asking me seriously, like, they said, hey, how likely is it that we are in a bear market? And how likely is it that we do drop to 0 0.001? You know, should I sell now? And, you know, if we look at the past, which in the past we haven't been in a bear market, at least not in the last year, you know, we've, we've had dips and peaks and valleys inside of the overall bull market. Um, the time to sell probably would have been the last few times we go up to 0 0.008. Because we've done that, what, three or four times by now? After the first time, oh, where are we going to go? Okay, we don't go there. All right, we, we, we didn't pass 0 0.0084. You know, so we go back down to wherever we go down. Second time, 0 0.00, uh, same thing, like 81, 82. And at that time, okay, well, we break resistance. Uh, will we fall back down? You know, who knows? And at that time, we didn't. So the next time, like two times ago, when we went back up to 0 0.008 something, and then we... I was like, okay, well, no, no, nothing has changed. There, there's no exchanges that we had. We're still going through the immutable migration. Probably would have been a good time to sell. And then we went back down. And then more recently, again, same thing. No uh, exchanges in sight. And I'm not saying that that won't happen. Uh, for, for all I know, we could get exchanges in the next two weeks. I, I, it's very possible. I, like I said, I do like to be conservative. So end of March, early April is probably when we're going to get it. Now, being said, are we in an overall bear market? Has the crypto winter started? I, I don't know. Um, I think as time goes on, you know, in a year from now, we'll definitely be able to tell when it actually started. Uh, I do think that Bitcoin would be in a much worse place right now if it had been, if it had been in a uh, bear market uh, or a crypto winter if that had started. But it is holding relatively steady. You know, for Bitcoin, are we down from a few weeks ago? Yeah, absolutely. Are we down from a month ago? No, we're not. We're up from a month ago. So, like, like I said, I'm, I'm pretty... I still think we might be in, in, in a bull market. But if we are in a bear market, you know, should you sell right now? I would not. I, I think that in a bear market slash crypto winter, most projects would, would go down 80 to 90%. A lot of them will fail. Uh, but... Coins, companies like ours, like Akomi with the Omi token, probably would not go down as heavily as everyone else, especially when we're about to get exchanges. So even if we did go down, let's say, let's say we dropped 80% and we went down to 0 0.001, because we're at 0 0.005, you know, 80% of that is 0 0.001. So uh, if, we, if we are able to drop 80% and go down there, I believe that would only be up until we get exchanges, uh, which, uh, which again, whenever they start, again, it could be a couple weeks from now, it could be several weeks from now, I don't know, but we will get them, and when we do, how much more volume are we going to get? How much more burning are we going to do? I, again, so, so for me, I, I would not, if somebody were to give me $50,000 to say like, Chavez, I'm giving you fifty thousand dollars if you sell right now and do not and 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 buy and saying that hey you can buy back in when it goes down to point zero zero one or point zero zero two if if it gets cut in half whatever it is I would tell them no random man or woman comes up through my door say like fifty thousand dollars for you to sell everything right now and then rebuy back in when it gets cut in half you know because we're in a bear market which I don't know if we are or not I would tell them no because I would have. If we are not in a bear market, and if we're still in an overall bull market, which I probably believe that we are, then that, then that fifty thousand dollars gets me nothing. That gets me fifty thousand dollars, and I miss out on all those gains if we don't go down and we just go up. Um, so I I don't think that is worth it. 
even if it's a guaranteed fifty thousand, that is not worth it in my opinion. Uh, that's a very big gamble. So uh, when when somebody again, a lot of people have, but but a buddy of mine messaged me and said, "Hey, what, what about this?" I, I I told him just what I would do, exactly what I told you guys. You know, if you know, the time to sell probably would have been the last two times we had gone up to point zero zero eight or seven eight around there before we came down here, um, but. You know, if, if we do it again in, in the next like week or so, let's say Bitcoin rallies and altcoins rallies and Ethereum rallies, again, the look at the overall market though. Look at what people are doing in other crypto. I mentioned this in my other video, but I, I think it warrants repeating here. Ether Capital Corporation announces additional 38 million of Ethereum staking. That is 10,240 Ether, currently worth approximately $38 million uh, to staking. Uh, uh, big companies, they don't, they don't care. Like uh, now, again, big companies can do this because they don't, uh, you know, th they're not working paycheck to paycheck like a, like a lot of us are. They're not working, you know, um, saying like, okay, well, I have the choice of paying this bill or or huddling or or huddling or or eating or whatever. They don't have to worry about that. So I get that. But I would, if for me, as long as I'm able to, I will huddle. As long as I'm able to, I, I will not sell. I, again, even if it. The, even when we go to, you know, five cents, 10 cents, whatever, I would only sell minimum amount just to pay bills, just to pay taxes and, and maybe, you know, something for, for, um, you know, charity, but, but that's about it. Uh, I don't think it's worth it to be able to go and, and say, uh, to try to time the market. It almost never works. Some people can once in a while, nobody can do it consistently. Um, there are some people that maybe they've been right more times they've been wrong. Okay. Fair point. Maybe some people that are smarter than me, like, oh, well, based on the 30, 50 day moving averages and we have a wedge, you know, um, sure. Uh, that, but that's just not me. Like my strategy, what I'm good at is just buying and hodling on really, really, really good companies. And, and again, one, one, last, one last time, I will bring this up where Jeremy Padua had posted the other day about uh, buying and selling. Investments have up and, ups and downs. In 1982, $10,000 invested into Apple. Well, it's $10,000. 1992 would have been worth $50,000. 10 years later, you would have lost about 40% of your money and it would have been down to $30,000. But 10 years after that, you almost do 100X, where it's 2.5 million. 10 years after that, you almost do another 10X, where it's 20.8 million. Obviously, I don't have a crystal ball, but I do see this going 100X well inside of 10 years. Because what is that? That's 50 cents. <laughs> that is 50 cents. That, that is... That would, you know, at full, fully diluted market cap would be about a hundred fifty six billion dollar company, which inside that that is nothing inside of ten years. Like I said, most crypto top ten will be multi trillion dollar companies, if not all of them. But again, that's just my opinion, and that's in the future. That you know, that active prestidigitation has no bearings on the short term turmoil. Anyway, guys, that is it for me. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. Just my thoughts. I love you all. Let me know if this helps out. All right. Goodbye. Meow, 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 meow.